Hey guys, this is Iggy back again. So you've just moved into a new apartment or maybe, you know, you, you're setting up a TV in your son's room or your daughter's room and you just don't have an outlet. You have a, maybe a brand new TV or an old TV. You have this message, weak or no signal because you have no place to plug it in or maybe you don't have a cable box for this particular outlet or this room. So if it's a smart TV, maybe you get by with Netflix or Hulu or YouTube, but after a while that all gets boring or maybe you don't want to pay all those subscriptions. So today I'm going to show you guys how to hook up the A-Box Android TV Box A4. So to do that, this is the A-Box itself, little teeny tiny unit. To do that, first off, you're going to want to connect the power. I've already connected it back here and then you're going to want to connect the power right here. So just plug that in and then this lights up. Okay, and then you get boot. So it's starting to boot. So now what we're going to need to do is plug in the HDMI cable. So just going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've plugged that into the TV and maybe I could just bring it over here just to keep everything on that side. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right over here. Okay, so now that's all set up and if I wanted to, I could just push everything right over here. And you see it picked up already the, uh, the A box, mind you, I have not touched this before, I haven't done this before. So my particular TV picked it up. Now you may need to change the input, you know, to either a different input or if you have the remote that says HDMI, click HDMI. So now you got to use the remote. Now this does not come with batteries, so you have to buy yourself a pack of AAA batteries. Don't use these. Uh, these are horrible. Uh, I just had them laying around the house. I'll go ahead and link in the description below, you know, good ones you can buy. All right, so just pop in the batteries right over here. Okay, and again, here is what the remote looks like. Shows it on the TV as well. So now we're gonna go through the setup real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna press both V and PG on the remote. So these two guys here. Until the red light flicker and pair to remote, you saw that flicker. Now click OK. Do you have an Android phone or tablet? I do, but I'm gonna skip that for right now. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click yes. Set up your TV with Android. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we open up Google. As you may or may not know, I'm obsessed with Pokemon Go. Okay, so now we'll click OK, which is next. In the search box, type set up my device. Set up my device. Okay, now I click next. Searching for devices. And now I see, as it mentions on the screen, tap A box A4212. I'll click on that. Okay, and now so verify this code. Yep, it is correct. And I click next. All right, it is connected to my Pixel XL. Setup was not complete. Maybe I have to connect it to here for security reasons. Confirm your fingerprint. Okay, fingerprint confirmed. I skipped that. I tapped on my Google account, but Obviously, I didn't want to show that out here. Receiving account and internet information. Okay, so now I just have to log in. OK, 
Okay, now it's copying accounts. Yes, I did. Alright, so now it's done. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording on my phone. <clears throat> Alright, so let's start using the TV remote. Accept this guy. Accept location. Help improve Android TV. Uh, I'll go ahead and put no. You can put yes, of course, but totally up to you. Setup is complete. I click finish. Preparing recommendations. Now, this has been my son's computer watching Netflix. So it's going to be a bunch of cartoons. I'm not saying anything bad about that because that's basically what I watch. All right, so we can see a bunch of things here. Uh, Pluto, Spotify, I guess this is picking up my wife watching it here every so often. Uh, MX Player, Kids, Super Troopers. Now I'm assuming these are going to be all things that are free on this account. I don't know just yet, but we have this all set up. <clears throat> And let's see, uh, let's app drawer, I've never seen that. So because this is an Android device, Google, I can download things from the Google Play Store and I can install them and I can play them. I can even attach through the USB ports other uh, devices and uh, like let's say a thumb drive and I can install APKs off of there and I can play games off of here. Mind you, I will be limited to this remote for those games, but it does work th through Bluetooth as well. So I should be able to connect a Bluetooth controller. I don't know just yet, but I'll do another recording. I just hit the home button. I'll do another recording to show some of that. All right, and that's just a quick, simple how to get it installed, um, you know, Again, you could watch Netflix, Google Play Store. Uh, anything you download may have downloaded on your phone or on this device itself. Um, I don't even know what TED is. But, you know, all this stuff, it's an Android device. So, you know, even though I did connect it through my phone, I just connected the, the Gmail part or the Google part onto here so that it has an account off of there. So you're going to see a lot more from me on this, so stay tuned here. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm going to be making some more videos, so I may answer those questions, but please do feel free to ask questions, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. All right, guys, again, this is Iggy showing you guys the A-Box Android TV Box A4, how to connect it, and a little bit of what it does. More coming soon. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.